Hey guys, for today's video, I just basically wanted to build something cute and that's basically it, so let's get started. So I'm gonna start by placing down some walls. I want something small, so I'm probably just going to make it five long and then maybe thick could be four. And then we can have like another opening like this because why not? The second floor can have something like this in the top. So the bottom can be a store and then the top can be an apartment. Let's go ahead and put some floors down. Then I think I'm gonna grab this fence right here. Forgot to put a floor for the balcony. And then a roof. I think I'm just gonna take this one and just do something like that. Should I maybe make this fence out of something else? I think for now I'm gonna keep this one. And then I'm just gonna do a flat roof on this little part right here. Put a fence like this on it. Cute. Next, we are gonna need some windows. And then I want something like this. And I am going to put a, what is it called? I think an awning, yes. It's too big. All right, so it looks like I'm gonna have to make this entire thing smaller. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm back, that didn't take that long, but now we have something that looks like this. Now I think I wanna put down some doors. I think I wanna put this one maybe right here. And actually, I think I wanna put some windows on the top too. Maybe two windows like that would be nice. Let's go back to doors. And then I want a sliding door over here like that. And I will delete this part of the fence because we're gonna have a staircase on the back side of the building. Um, I think I wanna cover this part of the roof like that to maybe add something to it. Maybe some pillars could also help. Something like, like this. Cute. Let's color the roof. I want this to be that metal sheet. Kind of also going for like summer vibes. Because I do want some texture on the roof. I'm just gonna go ahead and actually instead of basic shapes, I think I'm gonna do structural. And yeah. Cute. I like it. Let's do it on the other side. Wait, can we talk about how these are like $500? <laughs> That's actually kind of crazy. Oh, someone texted me. Sorry. <laughs> and then at the end, maybe we can do something like right here. That looks really good. Now let's color this door. Um, maybe some orange. I want this to be like really bright. Maybe what about these? These can be like a green color. Why not? We can make probably the bottom store this yellow color. That looks cute, right? And then maybe we can match the door. <gasps> Look! That looks so cute! And maybe we can match the windows as well. <gasps> Stop! That's so cute! Um, should we make the upstairs also yellow or should we make it a different color? I don't think I've used this pink, um, the mauve color, so why not? And then maybe we can have this fence also be pink. Maybe the green is a little bit overkill, but I like it. Uh, maybe I should make these white. Yeah, that looks a lot better actually. Still not sure about this fence. It like needs something more. Should we add a third fence on it? Wait, maybe this is not so bad. Hold on. Alright, let me see. No, I'm definitely tripping. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Let's maybe put some stairs back here. I think something simple like that could work. And then maybe we can bring this pole backwards as well for some support. Wait, what if we make this a boba place? Wait, that would be so cute. Should we have the sign like here? Or should we probably have it on the window, right? But it's not that big. We could probably have the sign inside somewhere. For now, we're just gonna ignore it. I think I'm also going to make a little sidewalk because why not? Do we like that? Yes or no? I will. How do you raise the door again? T. Oh, you know what we could do to hide this right here? We could go into garden and put some bushes on it. I'm gonna grab a transparent cube and I'm just gonna flatten it down. And we're going to take this. Can barely see it. Now we can hopefully, probably, place some bushes on it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, it's not totally even, but that's okay. Let's go to garden. 
and try to place something down. So for the moment of truth, it works. Yay! Something like that. A little bit of this. And then maybe a little bit of... Just kidding. Never mind. I can't put anything else up there. It looks a little, you know, questionable. What if we add some of these? These could work, right? You probably need some hanging plants like coming off to the side. That would be nice. Enough with the outside. I'm just not gonna worry about it right now. Let's go inside. And since we know it's a boba shop now, we have to make the the boba shop. <laughs> I was going somewhere with that, I promise. So I'm gonna go into decorate and I'm gonna grab a storage thingy. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna go into the storage thingy and I'm going to grab this traditional bookshelf. And I'm just gonna pretend that this is what we go to to grab stuff like maybe we have some tea leaves up here maybe some machines as well we are also going to need a fridge to keep all the cool stuff and to maybe not block so much sunlight coming in i think a counter could work really well perfect actually what if it's not just a boba shop but also like a little bakery i always like building bakeries I know I do them a lot, but I really do enjoy them, and I do want to own a bakery in the future. I might, it might not end too well, but you know, at, at least I want to try. I'm just going to grab the same counter and place it right here, and then maybe through here is where the employees can walk in. Because I don't want to block too much of the windows. You can see it, we already have a very small space, so yeah. We can probably put the boba sign tea right here. I think I'm gonna go with linen floors actually. I wish Bloxburg also added a feature where you can just like put walls down so I don't have to like constantly have a top-down view if I have or I'm building in a small space so that would be kind of useful. I think I'm also gonna add some wall trims or instead of maybe there what if we put some shelves and the sign can go like <laughs> I don't know I don't know where to put this sign but I definitely want to use it. I'm gonna use these cafe curtains and I'm gonna put them upstairs and then I'm gonna open them once we go upstairs. I'm looking for something specific but I forgot where to look for it. Oh, I found it. It was the wall in scent. I think I want to put it here. If you guys watched my last boba video, I also put a lot of incense. In- inset? Incense? Oh my gosh, I can't pronounce it right. All around the place because I thought it looked cute. I wonder if I can put the sign in there. I cannot. But now I'm just gonna grab some shelves. Oh, maybe I did like some of these. I think that's what I did actually. And then on here we can probably have like some machines and stuff. But then again, we also have this big thing right here that maybe we don't need this to have shelves. And it could just be like a cute little thing. That's really cute. Should we maybe do this for the rest of the thing? And then maybe we can get rid of this big thing right here. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> I'm too lazy. Mm, what should the inside of the shop be? Should it also be like this green color? Or should we go for like maybe a white? You know what? I think pink walls would be really cute. This is nice. This is really nice. I'm gonna maybe paint that white. I'm gonna do the same thing with these. Cute! Now let's go ahead and put in some appliances. I'm thinking we're obviously gonna need a kettle and then maybe a coffee pot. And then we could also maybe do like a little smoothie machine and definitely a lot of these jugs. These could maybe have the tea thingies right there. This condiment thing could maybe be like the toppings. You know, I thought that would work and it didn't work. So I'm going to delete that. Yeah, I'm not even gonna cap. I think I've been really wanting this cotton candy machine. But then again, I also want this ice cream machine and I don't know if I should waste all my blocks bucks on it. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about that right now. What I'm gonna do is... Go to decorations, go to kitchen, and we are going to just start grabbing a whole bunch of these. These can be like the tea that we use. Wait, you can resize these? Since when? <gasps> That's so cute! 
wait, since when can you resize these? I didn't know that. Here we have all the other flavors. And then here we just have like, maybe like the big main flavors. That would be really nice. And then maybe we can have like some milk out. And because I've also worked at a boba store, we can just have this be like the brown sugar. The spray thing that you get from the boba. I need to organize this. Ooh, we can use the new sign. And now we can probably have one of these up here. And then we just have like a big boba thing. Maybe right there. Maybe we can also have some glasses right here. And then we can pretend that these are the cups for the boba. All right, I just put like three plants down. I don't know what else to make. We need a way to actually come in here. So what if we do something like this? Bam. Wait, stop. This place is so cute. Like actually. <gasps> I'm going to paint all the appliances white. And maybe in the corner of the room, we could have a TV. It's taking everything inside of me not to make at least one grass wall. What if we have the boba sign there? That's so cute! I love it! Now that we're done with the downstairs, let's go upstairs and make our little apartment. So we are gonna need a bathroom. Let's look for some beds. Our bed can go in the corner right there. And then our bathroom can just be in here. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna push the bed this side or this way. Then we're gonna grab a toilet then grab our shower. And then our sink can maybe be above the toilet. Maybe it could go right here. All right, y'all. So the sink is gonna go right here. The toilet goes right here. And then the shower goes right here. Basically, it's a wet room. The bathroom's gonna need a door. And I'm gonna paint the walls white just to give it the illusion of it being a bigger space i'm gonna leave it like that for now but let's make the kitchen real quick i'm kind of nervous because i don't know where i'm gonna fit everything maybe what if we actually put the kitchen no i'm gonna put the fridge over here and then i am going to put some counters and then we're going to make believe that that is a mini oven maybe for some lighting we can maybe just have one light in the bathroom and right here in the entrance of the house so now that we're done with basically the all the basic stuff i'm gonna go ahead decorate it a little bit more and be right back all right y'all it's finished are you ready to see it three two one Ta -da! it looks so cute you know if you watch my last boba video you know i have to bring back the statue because i mean it's iconic and then yeah, as you can see, I did buy some actual boba so we can place down on some of the tables outside, which look very cute. I like the size of these. Bloxburg should also add more of these size tables because I don't want like a big round one to just have two little chairs next to it, you know. I really like it. I also added this divine thing to have it floating from the side. It's kind of awkward because it's going in an angle instead of straight down. But you know, it is what it is. It works. I like it very much. I also added like a little mountain right here because I don't know. I just felt like it needed something. This is a menu. I colored it color coded it with the building it looks really nice i also added this garden thing i forgot what it was called but i like it, it adds more color to it and more what is it like contrast i don't know <laughs> but anyways um up here you can see i added an air conditioner and you can barely tell but i did add some wiring in there because you know i just wanted to add a little bit of realism so if we open up right here, as you can see, we have a window looking out in the backyard. You can see we have some plants, a tree, maybe some lights in there. I said maybe, but we do have some lights. Um, let me close the door right here. And over here we have a map of Taiwan because I'm pretty sure this is where Boba originated from, Taiwan. So yeah, we had a Taiwan map right here and then we have a plant and then we have like a trash can with some trays and then another table with a boba it looks really, really cute i didn't know what else to do with this little room and i think i did a really good job i forgot to change the light of this color but that's okay it looks really really good and then now that we enter the main space it is a little bit bright because of all the white but that's fine i also have another matcha boba over here we have the colorful straws for your little boba and yeah right here we have another order and then right here i put a tv and you know how in some boba shops they always have k-pop music videos playing i just decided to make believe that this is a k-pop music video playing and i think it looks really cute right here we have some pastries and if we go back here, you know, this is the ordering, not the ordering station, the making boba station. So, you know, we have the milk, we have the brown sugar syrup. And then if you want like a fruity, a fruity, a fruit, fruit, oh my gosh, wait, fruit, 
A smoothie. Oh my gosh. A smoothie <laughs> boba. Here we have the thing for that. And then we have, you know, make it with some espresso shots or some, you know, to herb the... Wait, what do you call it? This is for the tea, basically. Yeah, to make tea. Um, this is all the spices. Not all the spices. Oh my gosh. All the tea. All the different types of tea. And then right here we have all like the ingredients that most sell. Yeah, this is just decoration. Some cups for the boba. And then... Again, like already made milk tea boba. And yeah, over here, um, the owner just basically has like the Christmas decorations put here in the back because they don't know where else to put it. And here we have a fridge. And back here, we just have all the pastries and stuff that you can access in the menu. And I think it looks really cute. I'm really proud of myself. It is a small space, but then again, I really like decorating small spaces because then you can like fill it up and then it looks pretty much done. So I like it, it looks cute. I think, again, I did a really good job. So yeah, let's go ahead and go upstairs. I'm thinking the lore for this place is just that this was originally an entire house, but the owner upstairs just wanted to open up their boba shop. And so they were like, why don't we just make it downstairs? our boba shop and so they just moved all their belongings upstairs and as you can see they have all the clothes hanging right here on the side to dry and then they have a little walkway with some trash cans one for the boba store and one for themselves so you can go up here and then they have like a little plant and then they have a welcome sign and the little mailbox and as you can see it is a girl i love it inside because it's full of pink stuff and oh it looks so cute and so yeah some perks of being the owner from the boba shop in the stairs you can have boba whenever you want so here we have like a little you know coat rack the trash can this is a little pretend oven maybe with some silverware and all the pans down here but yeah they also use some of this tabletop for their jewelry stand and then their incense makeup and crystals right here in their little vanity i love this little combo right here it just looks so cute up here they have a little calendar Right here they have their bed, and then this is a little teddy bear that the boyfriend bought for them. Again, some paintings. And right here they have their little dresser. They only have like a couple items of clothing. They did just sell everything to make the downstairs place possible. So yeah, I mean, I would live here. It li it li literally, it looks so cute. And then right here they have the little pink fridge. I wish I had a pink fridge like this. It looks so adorable. And up here they have some flowers that the boyfriend bought them. And in here they have their tiny little bathroom. You know, it's a little wet room. Basically, it just means that everything in there just gets wet. And yeah, you will most likely need to wear like some sandals or something. And then out here, as you can see, I did bring it out. Like I said, some of the AC unit like in here and it connects in there. So it's not too hot. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think it turned out really cute. I'm really proud of myself. And I think this makes me actually want to build Korea in Bloxburg. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>